Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin dialog material using boilerplate. This is our part number 3. Inside this video session guys, we will see that what basically we are going to develop inside this playlist means which type of plugin we are going to develop about and also we will discuss about plugin generator tool. So in the very first part actually about plugin generator this is the website actually we had discussed about https wppb.me while going through this plugin generator we have some input fields like plugin name plugin slug plugin uri author name author email author uri so after filling this form actually we can generate our plugin framework so we will discuss when we generate our custom plugin framework from this form so back to slides now go to the next step so basically we are going to make a books management plugin in wordpress inside this playlist it means we are going to create or let's say book self where we will create some books insert into self we will delete some book update some book and means list all the books inside the table inside this playlist simply we are going to perform all the current operations using book system so inside this we have a well-defined form layouts form layouts stands for that we have a form by the help of that form actually we will save some data we have a table where we will list all the data we have a model which delete before asking means it takes some confirmation before deleting and after making confirmation it will delete and update model so we have several things to see inside this books management plugin it is not a large project it's not a large plugin we are going to develop but this plugin will give some quality idea to develop large plugins in wordpress we are going to perform all the CRUD operations by using this form layouts CRUD operations simply means about in and out operations with the involvement of our database tables in CRUD operation we will see about create read update and all about delete operations also we will see that in while plugin activation we had created about the tables as well as pages menus and sub menus so how can we delete or remove while plugin deactivation so when we when we will work with the form layouts about the CRUD implementations so in those cases we will see about token based HX security methods also about sanitization methods what we had discussed in our part number 2 video so by using token based ajax security to ajax method as well as about sanitization methods it means we are going to provide a security to our books management plugin in wordpress so these are the things actually we are going to see if i make some edit here so these are the things actually we are going to look over in admin panel means we will create some form layouts current operations security based parameters all we will develop inside the admin panel obviously as we can see here while installing any plugin to our wordpress setup the first thing will be happen inside this admin panel we will create some menu sub menu and perform our actions after discussion in admin panel we will create some layout actually we had made a playlist plan for the let's say about using pages creation or we are going to create some pages so those pages basically for for the front end operations so also we will cover about front end page operations it means inside that page we will list the book what we have created in our bucket or in our table also if we want to perform or let's say view operations if we want to see the details of any book then at the front end when no user is logged in inside admin panel so unauthenticated user can see the details of the book from the front end page 
So from the summary point of view, inside this books management plugin, we are going to see about admin panel as well as front end panel. Inside these panels actually, the plugin have their respective functionalities. Now let's generate about books management plugin from our plugin generator tool. So to generate a well-defined structure of boilerplate, we have to go to the website called WPPB.me. This is the official website to generate about boilerplate framework. If we want to see some documentation, if we want to study or interested in that, so we can gen see about the generator tool. Also, we will see about some the developers which are responsible to develop this framework. So let's generate our plugin that is books management plugin from this form. So go here. So inside this plugin name, firstly, we need to pass the plugin what basically we are going to develop. So let's say that a student, sorry, it's not a student, it's books management plugin or we can say about books management tool as well. So let's say books management tool. Now here plugin slug. If you go here, what is basically a slug is go to the post, click on hello world. So right here as we can see or find here. So there is nothing inside it. So slug is nothing or if we go to the WP post inside this table actually we have a column with the name of post underscore slug. So go here and inside this table and the slug is defined inside the column is something post underscore name and here it is. So again if we click on browse to see all the available data inside this table. So right here as you can see that hello world it's a post. Now inside this post if you go to the post name now this is the slug called hello hyphen world. So simply we need to provide a plugin slug. So let's say that books hyphen as we can see about the syntax from here. So hello hyphen world so books management hyphen tool. Now this is our plugin slug. Now we need to provide a plugin URL. This is all about let's see a documentation we have prepared about this plugin. So the URL of that documentation means public URL we need to provide inside this plugin URI section. So right now we have no URL so I am going to specify our blocks URL to this plugin URI. So copy this. Go here pasting it here. Now let's say author name so online web tutor. Author email is something online web tutor hub at gmail.com. Now inside next let's say author URI. Again I'm going to specify about blogs URL. So all these informations actually we had filled about the plugin name, books management tool, plugin slug, books hyphen management hyphen tool. This is plugin URI, author name, author email and it's about author URL. While publishing this plugin to our WordPress repository, keep in mind that all the two URLs like plugin URI and the author URI should not be same. If it will be same then plugin will not be published to WordPress repository. It will be rejected by WordPress community. So remember, while publishing any plugin to WordPress repository, these two URLs should be different. Now here, we can find a small statement of line that is, type your plugin details in the form below and generate a GIF file. It means that it is going to generate a GIF file which basically provide a boilerplate framework. So after filling this form, if we want to click on build plugin, now as we can see here that is, it is downloading or downloaded a books management tool dot zip folder. So go to downloads folder, 
So if I back to folder structure, now this is the folder actually we have generated called books-management-tool.zip. If I copy this folder or cut this folder, go inside WP content, plugins and pasting it here. So now let's make unzip of that and delete this zipped folder. Now if we go inside this plugin folder, right now as we can see here that is we have a structure. We have four folders and some of the few files. So what basically this admin folder includes folder, languages folder as well as public folder. And what basically these files are. We will discuss about details of each folder and about the details of each file inside this folder inside next video. So simply from this video we have no idea that is what we are going to develop inside this playlist and also we have seen that how can we generate our boilerplate framework that is folder setup plugin from our plugin generator tool. So inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.